Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator and welcome back to Southampton Echo Golf Hotel India. If you follow the channel you know that we've done traffic patterns here at Southampton in the x Laminar Stock Cessna 172. So we're going to be doing the same thing here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now in x we used Orbex Southampton. This is stock in MSFS. And I'll talk about the traffic pattern and then I'll, I'll also talk a little bit about Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'll give my final thoughts after we land. So taking off 55 knots, pushing the nose down a little bit to increase airspeed to 80 knots with best climb rate. And we're climbing up to 1000 feet which is traffic pattern altitude. 300 feet short of that we're going to be turning onto the crosswind leg. So maintaining 80 knots, looking for 700 feet and then we'll begin that turn. So you can see the, the ground detail. We're on high settings, 6700K CPU, 1070 graphics card, maintaining about 35 to 40 FPS with a windscreen effect set to ultra. So I make a few mistakes or one or two mistakes during this pattern. I'll talk about those as we encounter them. One thing I've noticed between Explain and uh, FS, in Explain it's the challenge is to maintain airspeed because airspeed tends to bleed off quite a bit. In this it's the other way around. You, you're trying to keep airspeed under control it tends to run away from you a little or, or, or it can run away from you a little bit on final you'll see that I'm a little bit faster than I want to be whereas with x -Plane, it's the other way around I'm generally slower than I want to be that's the challenge so here we are turning onto crosswind I've reduced the rate of climb still want to climb up to a thousand feet but I don't want to climb quite as fast in fact, I do climb up to 1,200 feet, which is a bit higher than I want to be. So on downwind, so we make the turn there, we're looking for the runway. I've got the kind of notable places indications turned on so that it will point out cities, towns, airports. I might turn that off in due course, but for now it's still working. Okay, so yeah, it, SP tends to kind of bleed off a bit more in x 11 than Flight Simulator. You, it, it's more of a challenge to keep SP down in Flight Sim, whereas in x it's a challenge to keep airspeed up. Okay, so now we're just a little bit too high, 1,200. So now we're going to turn onto we're going to turn any second now. Still looking for the airport. Still looking at our position relative to it. And there we are on this downwind leg. So at this point we'd be doing the gump check, gas, gas. It, fuel is fine. Uh, fuel selector is set to both. Undercarriage, fixed undercarriage. Mixture is full rich and we have a fixed propeller, so that's not an issue. So we're looking, our next check really is to be a beam, the numbers, at which point we will extend first stage of flaps and we'll start our descent. And we'll be looking at a 500 feet per minute rate of descent. Now we're looking for one to one and a half miles from the runway we can use the uh, wing spar as a guide you see there okay now bringing in, bringing in that first stage of flaps adjusting pitch and power and we're now looking at a 45 degree angle between ourselves and the end or the threshold of the runway I actually turn a little bit too late onto base and as a consequence this is my big mistake turn a little bit too late onto base 
and as a consequence I get a bit too low and I have to make a shallower approach. So I probably should turn about now. Should have already turned. So I'm a bit late on that turn. Now I begin the turn. You'll see I'm getting a bit too low so I add power. Shallow the turn. So we're turning on a base leg. We're looking for heading bug at 9 o'clock. So we pass close to Southampton. Looking for the runway. It would have been easier to spot it if it would have been a little bit closer. I we're coming up to the uh, we're coming up to the final leg. Now on the final leg what I'm going to do, once we are assured of landing, I'll extend the last stage of flaps. Actually prior, just prior to turning onto base. I extended second stage of flaps so final stage of flaps will come when we are assured of landing you can see airspeeds are a little bit higher than I want maybe 60, 65 ok but once we do turn on to final I'd like that to decay really you're looking at VSO 1.4 at the moment as the absolute minimum with 1.3 for the final approach they both come out at roughly 45 knots. So you can see I'm a little bit low here. Just adding a bit of power to straighten that out a little bit. And that's a consequence of turning and turning onto base leg a little bit too late. Now I'm going to talk about landing as we go through it, but if you look at videos and documentation and notes and feedback on landings, pilots will say you chop the power, flare the aircraft, hold the nose up and you'll touch down. I could never do that in X-Plane 11, but what I would do is I would keep a little bit of power on, flare and modulate power to land. If I didn't do that, if I just chopped the throttle, held the nose up, I would sink too quickly. So as so we come to the numbers, which are the aim points, see how pull back on power, just chop the throttle down to zero, flare, hold the nose up, hold the nose up, hold the nose up, and touch down. Not exactly straight, but it's not the worst landing. So that feels a lot more realistic than X-Plane 11, that actually feels more natural standing on the brakes to make this turn. That feels a lot more natural to me. Problem that problem that X-Plane has had is with ground effect because what will happen when you are coming into land the airflow is coming down off the wings and it's it's bouncing back off the tarmac so that will give you a little bit of lift for a long time X-Plane didn't I don't think it had that at all they've kind of sort of fixed it but it's still in my opinion there's not quite enough so that you do have to just hold on to that little bit of power at least that's been my experience uh, when you are coming into land. Okay, what are my thoughts in general on Microsoft Flight Sim? Well, clearly it's not finished. There are certain issues on taxing, for example. It seems to need an awful lot of power to get it going. And then once you are going, it doesn't seem to. Uh, ground speed doesn't seem to bleed off properly. Um, that could probably do with, with a little bit of work. Autopilot is broken from what I've seen of it. Um, but other than that, I want to say I have mixed feelings about it, but that kind of suggests I'm not happy with it. It's it's a tremendous flight sim. It's going to be an absolutely wonderful flight sim once we get through the patching process. And people forget, X-Plane took a long time to get where it is today, and it's not perfect by any margin. But we've got a great sim on our hands here, and it is only going to get better. So. It's a lot of people thinking the sky has fallen in because it's not finished. Well, it's early access. Every bit of software today is early access. But there's an awful lot of promise to it. And right now, out of the box, I would say it's still a great sim right now today. But there's a lot more to be done. And I'm looking forward to seeing those patches coming out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe.